Hi, this is David of Inspect Canada. One of the most important recommendations that we do during our home inspection is to upgrade outlets that are within a short distance of a water source to GFCI outlets. Some people call them GFI, it stands for Ground Fault Circuit Interrupter. And the idea with these outlets, because we are in a bathroom here, is that if you would drop a hairdryer, for example, in the water and you picked it up, instead of getting a massive shock, basically the power would go away. The outlet knows, it, it calculates the current that's running through the outlet, and if it does change, poof, it trips. It's, for a few reasons we recommend it. First of all, it's safer for people that will live here. And when you wanna sell your home, then the home inspector will not point it out. It will already be set. This is something that is actually fairly simple to do. I will show you exactly how to do it. So have a seat, be comfortable, watch the video. And if you have any questions, reach out to us. We'll be happy to help. Hey, so for this project here, we're not gonna need a whole lot of tools. We're gonna need a screwdriver. It's good to get one with the insulated handle, an outlet tester, possibly some electrician tape, and maybe some needle nose pliers. It's gonna be a very basic presentation on how to replace an outlet. We'll do a more advanced one later, but for now, what I wanna make sure Look, let's put the outlet tester in there. Let's see what it says. Right now, it only shows one light right here. This means that it's a non-grounded outlet. So it is straight from the start. It's not wired properly. So we'll try to fix that as we go. But the first thing I want to do is I want to go and turn off the power at the panel. All right. Now that you can see the power is off, I'm going to take this outlet right out. Very often, especially the older outlet, it's a nice little square bit that goes in there. And now I'm going to take it right off the wall. So I like to pull it straight because if it, this is a metal box, if the screws on the side touch that box, Fire is going to come out of there. It did happen before. Now I'm going to unplug this outlet. I'll unscrew the wires and I'll talk to you a little bit about those wires. All right, so right here, we have three wires. The black is also called the hot or the positive. The white is called the neutral, and the copper line right here is your ground. Now, this outlet here, it's a little bit hard to see, but we have silver screws. That's where the white wire goes, and we have golden ones, and that's where the black goes. And then the ground goes at the bottom and normally it's a green screw. So I'm going to pull the, the brand new outlet and we're going to start installing it. All right, so I've got two outlets here today. One works with a 15 amp breaker and one works with a 20 amp breaker. I've already looked in the panel. I know this is connected to a 15 amp breaker. So we're going to use the 15 amp GFCI receptacle. Now, if this was a newer home, normally now you're getting 20 amps in the bathroom because you could be using a hair dryer, curling iron. They draw a lot of power and a 20 amp would be a little bit better. But we do not want to put, you know, something that doesn't match with the breakers out there. So we have a 15 amp breaker. We're going to throw a 15 amp outlet. So now if we take a look at this outlet right here in the back, right here is going to say line. And at the top, under this paper here, it's going to stay load. These is where the wires that's coming from the panel will go. And if this outlet was feeding another outlet, then we would plug it there to go to the next outlet. But we don't have that here. Basically, we only have uh, this outlet that's being fed by this breaker. So we're going to throw basically on the silver screw right here. We're going to put the white wire, the neutral. And on the golden one here, we're gonna put the black, the hot or the positive wire. 
and the green screw right here, this is where uh, the ground will go. So we'll set this up right now. All right, so I'm gonna put all the wires where they should go. So we have the white one right here that will go, this outlet's gonna go like this. It's gonna go right behind that silver plate right here. And I'm gonna tighten this up. And you want it to be fairly tight. You don't wanna damage it, but you don't want it to move. And then the black will go on the go under the little plate of the golden screw right here. Let's tighten this one up. And then over here, we have the ground and that's gonna go under the green screw. And that's pretty much it for the installation. But before I put all this back together, I wanna see if it's wired properly. Otherwise, I'll have to take everything out and redo it. So I'm gonna put my outlet tester inside here. I'm gonna go and trip that breaker back on and then we'll see what happened. Now that the power is back on, all I need to do is to push this reset button to trigger this outlet on and then it will very most likely still show as ungrounded because the ground was there. The problem is not here, it's somewhere else and I'll figure this out a little bit later. But first of all, let me turn this on. We have power. Now I just need to put this outlet back together, but the first thing I wanna do is turn the power back off. All right, now it's time to put this outlet back on. You want to push the wires in there nicely. As you can see, installing a brand new GFI outlet where we had an older regular outlet is not the end of the world. It's something you can do yourself. And now you just save between 200 to $250. And you know, once you do it, you've done it a couple times, it'll only take you a few minutes to do it. Now there is a couple buttons here. One is a test button. You should be testing this on a monthly basis to make sure that the GFI outlet is actually working and it's protecting your family. That's why they have these buttons there so you can test it because they often go bad. That's why it's good for you to know how to fix it so that next time around, you don't have to call an electrician. You just do it yourself. You only need a couple tools. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. If you have any questions, feel free to contact us directly. Until next time, have a beautiful day.